Choose a faction. I did update the category, right? Maglev Logistics, Orbital Exchange, Money Talks. You can purchase any vehicle you encounter owned by any faction, even enemies. Increase structure storage speed, space. Starts with a rover and has Maglev tech. Locked in the demo, locked in the demo, locked in the demo, locked in the demo. Locked in the demo, locked in the demo. Okay, we can either play, uh, play the good guys or the bad guys. Green, green or evil money peeps. <laughs> In between there are others. There are others. It's free real estate. The scientists. Are those those are AI generated pictures, right? They surely look like it. Something about the facial proportions in them. Yeah. Right, so uh we're going to exploit Titan. Normal difficulty.
deliver re resources to the smelter with maglev tubes. Push. Aha! Now it's doing something. We like to buy 25 building frames. Finish within 36 minutes. They like to buy mineral wool. 33 minutes. Okay. Uh, rent a lab. Take a loan. Have fun. That needs power. And that needs research points that are green. Come on. Uh, each technology needs different input resources. So if we want to research the supply depot, we need building frames. So we put the concrete in the storage. <laughs> a floppin. Um I was I was kind of interested in Forspoken. I was not excited or hyped or anything. I kind of stopped doing that these days, but um <clears throat> not too complimentary on the visuals, okay. But there's Eurogamer also. Uh, short short is not a, a problem unless it's 80 hours uh, 80 euro f for 12 hours and no replayability I don't know I'll probably pick up for spoken in, in a few years and have a look uh, yeah we want to close this also consumers factory now the factory can be produce building frames from concrete. Now I want to split this or add a sorting house. Let's see if we can add a, tw a, a secondary. Yeah, we can just split it like this and then and it probably alternates between the tubes. Yeah, perfect. Now we're making building frames. Can't build. Oh, I clicked on the building itself. Now we're sending the building frames to the research. And as soon as we got 30, we're going to research supply depots. Yeah, I don't, I'm not even 100% sure what kind of game Forspoken is. Um, there, were, there was talk of open world, and then there was talk of single player and questing, and that that's that's a lot of uh, warning signs there. Hey, Chris, welcome. How is it going? My competition is doing what now exactly? They're sitting there. They're waiting for, for me to produce stuff for them. Maybe they are not competition. Maybe they are just blocking space and want stuff from me. Right? Uh, they wanted building frames. The greater Saturn. Uh, they wanted the wool. And they wanted... I don't want their trash. The federal outpost. Oh, that's also the one with the, with the starting loan. 
What's, what's open store? Alright, I can pay off my debt here. I'm gonna pay off twice. And they want building frames, okay. But how do I send them the building frames? A non AA Horizon O Zero Dawn I'm up. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a look. I mean, it's just not very, not a very pressing matter. I've got other games that take my attention that are more affordable. Is that Square Enix behind it? That's probably the price tag, right? Oh, what's with them? They don't even have power. Well, that's solar power for you. Thermo radiative farm. Yes. The answer is yes. Temperature, huh? Okay. <laughs> Starfield. Uh, I guess I'm also able to wait for that to go down in price. Um, can I load resources into vehicle? Is the question. Storehouse, where, warehouse is different. Oh, I need to produce them first. Prefab. A prefabricator. Um, transport. Ah, transport truck. That's what I need. No, the transport truck embarks on the trade mission. And it's going to bring building frames here as the delivery spot. Drop off spots. Well, drop off pick up spot. Win and enhance prices. <laughs> okay, only 10% interest. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Starfield is on Game Pass. Oh yeah, that could be. Maybe I put the, the frames in the warehouse as well. Or a storehouse. Uh, let's see, we're gonna build a push. Maglev here. Oh, look at that. Goes diagonal. can join them is that gonna work like so interesting system with these uh, totally not conveyor belts uh, oh you should totally mining
No space to drop it off. Is this full? Ah. I see. I see. Yeah, now it continues mining what we set it off to. Oh, okay. And... We push that into the factory now. Now this is obviously also full already. Okay. Right, now we have building frames in there as well. And concrete. And then I could set this to filter, right? So that we have building frames here and the concrete always goes there. Interesting, you just click on the tube and filter. You can also reverse direction. That, those are some neat functions. That's already full. So now the concrete should only go here because I filtered it out of this one. Yeah. Very interesting. Those are some concepts that I would have wished for in uh, Satisfactory, Factorio, um, and uh, what was that other one called? The, the one that's kind of between Dyson Sphere program. Um, because this kind of uh, uh, transport system seems c kind of approachable and useful. Of course, the other games have limitations on the transportation for a reason, but in Satisfactory, from my perspective, at least it's too fiddly and I prefer the Factorio approach, but in Factorio sometimes it's also rather fiddly because you're missing simple and filter options. But then again, it's part of the challenge in Factorio to build your own filtering. Uh, so there's that. All right. You. Pick up. Drop off. Now we're going to fulfill their demand. Hopefully the truck will stop automatically when uh, the, the job is done. Enjoy the food, T-Bang. Thanks for lurking. We, we can track our quest up here. And they want mineral wool. I don't even know where to make that or how to make it. Uh, build another factory. Oh, we haven't researched that yet. Okay, fair enough. No power? <gasps> See, that's something I haven't really understood yet. Structures, vehicles, info links? No, not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. Resources. Uh, no, no, no. Pollution. Temperature. Wind. What I was looking for is uh, my my power. Right, we've got a need of 46 megawatt and we're producing 19. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Both solar farms totally do not generate much when it's dark. Yes, I understand. And this one? Oh, 
not that I have an inkling what a thermo radiative farm is supposed to do, but if it gets warm, it gets less efficient, generates thermal power. Okay. Well, it seems like we need some wind power. But, uh, not much wind, not much wind to talk of her. Huh? All, all the obstructions. I thought I could maybe build on top of the resources, but that doesn't make much sense. Right, we can build another here. And they need to be connected like that. Right. Okay, now they got they got the building frames, we got um milli credit. Not a lot, but you know. They want wire. And I can pick my reward. 50 mag left, so I don't need to. Right, so the transportation thing worked. And now we want to research uh, the wool thingy. That means I can turn off the factory. And this factory. Oh, the storehouse is drawing that much power. I couldn't imagine. But these guys should start building. Building up more output. Turn off the smelter. I can't really turn off a storehouse. Oh, the research lab is just very expensive in terms of power. Um, if I go to buy land... Um, wait, before we do that, we're going to have to scout some. But I think I need more space to generate more power. Oh, we can salvage that. And we've got an interesting resource there. Right, so it's not really that there's instantly combat or anything, but the fact that there are turrets leaves me with the assumption, oh, there's graves, that there might just be combat later. Okay, this looks good. We want to buy this. For 3,000, 300. Now, how do we... Hmm. So, after after the first shock of the user interface, I think this has quite some quite some cool ideas, but it's it's so ugly. <laughs> it's, so, it's so very not charming in any way. And I've, I, I'm going to tell you, Factorio is charming in its own way. This This kind of lacks that but it, it has something going for it that's for sure otherwise I would have stopped already um let's generate some more power we have these we don't need to rent them so but are they just creating heat or are they also creating power generated 66 okay now we have more power than we need Now we're researching. We can even set this as high priority. But we do have enough power now. Okay, automated cargo transports to deliver inputs to this. So this truck would go there if they need... Uh, well, 
free sources. Yeah, they are all full. See that we can make some space. That takes a long time. Oh wait, they don't have the building frames. Oh, they need more than 30. to finish the research. Yeah, they need uh, 300 altogether. They need to research it 10 times, basically. I misread. Okay, at least the factory's working again. Uh. I'm gonna pay off two more debts. I don't think it reduces our payoff money though. <laughs> it should, but it doesn't. Um, are we doing something here? making a second uh, factory that makes building frames. I wonder if there's a shortcut to just copy this. That would be nice. You're also going to make concrete. A pole. How is this a pull? Go oh, wait. I don't have time for that. And now I'm gonna see if I can push. Like so? No. Into the factory? No, that doesn't work. Okay, fair enough. Um They are joining here. Oh, and they don't have an output yet. I forgot about the output. Whoops. Now, how is it going now? Obviously, the setup of the factory is complete bollocks, but that just happened. I mean, we didn't have too much money. We could just buy... Uh, Four pieces of land.
I thought it would it would mine that. But yeah. Uh we automate this to take from miners so the truck will empty out this. Is that is a miner an excavator? We'll see. No, he's not going there. Ah, oh, now he's going to keep uh, emptying out the miner. Storage is enabled from mining delivery. There are no adjacent structures that this can upgrade. Relocate. A buffer. Increases recipe copies stored for producers. Increases output stored for producers. Uh huh. So I miss I misread what this does. So I put it here. Recipe copies, recipe output, no increase output store. Okay, I think. Um, right click makes a copy settings, deconstruct, relocate, info link, and turn off possible. So um, it's a context sensitive right click that is very useful. Yeah, we need a drop off that is configured for. Mining drop off. That is full. Yeah, okay, so we need another storage. Build two here. And then we copy the settings of this one and this and they are now deconstruct and otherwise Cargo drop off. Now I wonder where it goes. This is a mining drop off, this is a cargo drop off. I would say it goes to the mining drop off. But I'm not sure. Oh, it goes to the other one. That's also sent to mining drop off. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. And now he's going back to the other mine excavator. Okay, so we automated that. Funky. I thought the excavator would also take these down, but salvaging apparently is... Needs eight. Boop, boop. No, we don't know how to get rid of it yet. I guess it could be the, the heavy extractor. Oh. But 
we could send that to mine uh, the quartz. Yeah, it has a bigger self storage. Yeah, eighty. Right. Okay, I would say this has potential, but it's uh, it, it's not coming with the most likable user interface and also color theme and presentation. Um, seems a bit staticky. Yeah, it, it really is the opposite of pretty. I did call it ugly. Very functional. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. That's in early access since February last year. And I would I would need to ask myself, uh, like with the with the other game, what was it called? Sand something something. There's Factorio and there's RimWorld. Why should I play these? these instead and the, the answer is I probably shouldn't um, although I have to say that this trading with the uh, other factions could be interesting um, and uh, instead of the combat in Factorio you would have trading and would compete against other corporations so to speak but they're not doing much are they but there might be conflict with them I don't I don't really I don't really know Um, but that has potential to be interesting, but I'm not sure if the game can deliver on that front. That's kind of hard to see. You can create templates, that's blueprints for you. A building breaker, that's what we need. We found the thing we needed, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, keep an eye on it. If you like the idea that it offers, um, I think the uh, medium quality AI pictures are painting a bad picture for this game, but yeah, it just does look not, doesn't look very good. Uh, so I'd, I'd rather move on and do something else, but you, you know, that might be different for you. Uh, it does come with some neat ideas, but there are so so many options, so many games. I think they kind of have to up their what they are offering if they want to compete.